Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a freeze frame with a camera shutter sound special effect. Okay, here we go. Let's grab a piece of video here, drag it into the timeline. Let me go ahead and turn the volume down and I'll also increase the size so you can see it. But what I want to do is kind of do a freeze frame right on that motorcycle right there. So what you're going to do is kind of drag your mouse or your trackpad to the point where you want to do the freeze frame. And then you're going to do a right click or a command click. Just kind of get to the spot where you want it to be. Click on the timeline itself and do a right click. And then you'll see the add freeze frame right there. You can also do it from the menu at the top. If you go to modify and scroll down to add freeze frame, you'll see it right there. And what happens is, is iMovie will put the freeze frame in for you. It'll stop it right there and it'll give you a certain amount of time here. So if you need to shorten it or increase it, you just grab this little tool here and pull it left to shorten it or right to make it longer. So when you play your video, it'll stop for longer all the way to the end of that, that zone right here, that tool zone. And then it'll keep going. Or if you need it really short, you just want to do like a really quick highlight you move it closer to the the left side tool here so you go like that and it's quick but you have full control of how long that actual time frame is on on that freeze frame okay so that's your freeze frame now to make it kind of pop a little bit let's add a sound to it we'll go to our audio and video here at the top and you're going to go ahead and type in the search just type camera c-a-m and you'll see camera shutter. We'll just drag that right underneath here and kind of point it right where that freeze frame starts. So let's go ahead and hit play. So we get our, our nice camera sound right there. And that's it. That's pretty much how you do a freeze frame. You can control the volume of the actual shutter sound if you want it louder or quieter. But other than that, you kind of just want to find out where you like the camera sound to be and how long you want it to actually pause for you before the video starts playing again. Okay, so let me go and play one more time. Actually, a little bit shorter for me would be perfect. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and then keep going. Alrighty, that's it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching. As usual, peace and aloha. Thanks, we'll see you next time. <music>